the President's Day sales are underway and some stores offer rent to buy programs. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us why he's not a fan of that option in his Don't Waste Your Money report. With those holiday bills still coming in, what if you need a new refrigerator or washing machine this spring? Well, the easiest thing may be renting it, but that comes with a big downside. Nicole Broomfield needed a new washer and dryer a couple of years ago, so she decided to go the rent to own route and bring home this new Kenmore set. It should have been $1,792 and some change. That's what she thought she would be paying for her one year rental until the company sent her a letter at the end of the year. She learned she'd been charged a little over $6,000, close to 7,000. She ended up spending almost $4,000 extra, but the money saving site Nerd Wallet says that's common these days, especially if you're trying to buy something like a big screen TV or sound bar that everybody wants in their home. NerdWallet priced a Vizio soundbar selling for around $150 at Amazon and Best Buy. But NerdWallet says it will cost you close to $470 at some rent-to-own stores. Another case, a Samsung 4K TV. Nearly $1,300 retail, but $2,400 through a rent-to-own store. NerdWallet found there may be cheaper options you might want to consider. Those include buy now, pay later plans subprime credit cards for people with poor credit and bad credit personal loans. Those will actually build up your credit score. Nicole says she was only told about the reasonable weekly payments and never read that fine print. Now buy now, pay later plans with no interest fees are the hottest trend for 2024, but many require a credit check, so not everyone qualifies. So always don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, ABC 27 News.